headed in the direction that it leads. Uh, the next thing is, uh, as he planned his escape route. So he's going to look. Steve, why don't you go over there and giving you a little lesson about cutting logs in the woods. from the direction of the fall. So that would be his targeted place where he can see uh, where everything happens once he cut the tree. So the next thing he's going to determine is the size of the hinge. How, how large is your hinge going to be, Steve? It's going to be three quarters of an inch thick. Three quarters of an inch thick. And 80% of the diameter. 80% of the diameter of the tree because very little side. Very little side. So basically, he's the hinge on the tree is no different than the hinges on a door. It will close the tree or have to force the tree to fall in that exact direction. Uh, a lot of the old timers certainly did swing falling, which would be have one side of the hinge thicker or thinner than the other. And that's the they could guide the tree to the ground. Uh, we're, we're from the uh, change that theory in that wherever your hinge is pointed is where the tree is going to fall. All right. So What's that for education? The first step that Steve is going to make is, uh, and this is part of his cutting plan now. This is the fifth thing. So has he clean, escape, hinge, and his cutting plan? What's your cutting plan going to be? Cutting plan is going to be which is the first who cuts the tree, put in the tree, which sets the direction, creates an opening for the tree to be able to tip over and establishes the length of the hinge. And on this tree, we only need 80% of the diameter because uh, there's very little side lead, so that's the standard. 80% is the minimum standard. And they go longer for trees that have side lead because we don't want the hinge to take from side to side. We're actually forcing the tree to go in an unnatural direction. So the longer the hinge, the stronger the hinge. On this particular tree, 80% of the diameter, I'm going to use uh, it's an open face knot, which means it's going to be 90 degrees open or better. The reason why we use that, it's different from the conventional system, is because we want the hinge... All right, what's really nice is that this is at Kennebec River Woodsman's Day, and they're giving us a little bit of uh, demonstration uh, about cutting woods. Uh, in the woods, you know, and how you to notch it and everything, just to make things safer for people who watch this video. It's more like a how-to video, so if you got some trees and stuff you need to cut on your property and you don't want to be hitting the power lines or anything like that, this is a good demonstration that'll help you on that if you need to do it yourself. You know, it's always better to hire professionals, but we don't all have the funds for that. So this guy's gonna teach us a little bit about this here. All right. Okay. You notice some of them are really bent, crooked, because trees in the woods all grow different ways. So, here we go. Demonstration. All right. Well, he's going to get going. All of what he explained is usually for four loggers is done in two or three seconds. So, basically, there's some folks that cut hundreds of trees a day, literally. Yeah, my father worked in the woods. He cut hundreds of trees daily. Five seconds. So, so go ahead, Steve. There you go. To show the direction of his fall. Just letting you know which way this tree is going to fall. Oh, now we went right straight in the center. Okay, definitely not the way they used to cut trees. That must be something new. All the way. All right, there's a car that thought they could park beside here. 
do that. I gotta use safety. All right. See, now all he has to do is push it, and it's gonna go. He's going to go and he's going to go to a safe haven on the other side. <coughs> All right, and this is going on at the Skowhegan Fair. This is an event they're showing us okay. at the fair. All right. All right, there he goes. There it goes. There you go. Not simple. Hit the target. You're right. <laughs> All right, that's all there is to it. All right. Great. All right. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. We'll show you some more. Bye-bye. All right. He was like maybe three inches off from where he wanted it to fall. He put soda there. Now he just put his soda on the other side of that log and everything. Now this one wants to tilt the other way. He wants that one to be right on the other side of the other one. And he put his solder there. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to the same so it's all about learning what kind of wood and tree you're cutting too. Ah. <coughs> all right, escape's gonna be on this side because it tilts that way where his escape was before. Always plan your escape before you cut a tree. All right. So the opposite side of where your tree leans is where you plan your escape. All right. A lot of safety issues when you're cutting a tree. There's a lot more to think about. There he goes. <coughs> you notice he's putting his notch first. something my father, when he worked in the woods, didn't do it this way. But this is the new, safer way of doing things. All right. Ah, put a wedge on that one. On a wedge to help with that tilting. All right. All right, here we go. It's gonna finish it off. All right, 
See, he added a little notch. Now he's going to hammer where he put that in. A lot, if you notice, it's starting to tilt. Straightening out. See it on the top, just moving slightly, little by little. One more. There we go. There you go. All right. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more. Bye bye. All right. This will be the third right. one here. So you folks. If you would, please move back this way. <laughs> this all, everyone go over this way, please. So he's going to make this fall to the right? He's going to make, he's going to make it fall right there. It's leaning this way and then back this way. So, right. Okay, this way, everyone move this way. Hopefully he won't squash the soda. Hopefully he won't squash the soda. That's what, he's looking to do. That's what he wants to oh, do. He, wants to he put it there soda. deliberately. Yeah. All right, notch again right now. I really think they cut a chunk off and make a little mini blackberry. Uh, crooked that is. Sure to sell me. Join me as a friend. Bye bye. Okay, they're notching these trees. Can chop them down. Oh, one went down down there. Two has gone down. Three has gone down. Two more. Two more. That one's going down. One more hit. That one's down. One more. One more. One more. And one more. Yay! All right. 
All right, stay tuned for more. We'll bring you some more. Bye bye. Okay, on the other side. See which one's gonna go down for us. I knew it. One. There you go. Keep going. Who's next? Three more contestants in there. And the last one down. I was about to fall. See you in hit. And Timber. One more. There you go. All right. That's the end of that. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. Bye-bye.